What's impressed me most about Regina is how it has evolved over the years. When it opened its doors in 1958, it was a high school staffed by priests and sisters. We are so grateful to those who had the vision to start this school. And we are also grateful to those who continue to support it in so many ways. What impresses me so much is the passion for this place, that people will do whatever it takes to make this place better and even more special. That's what I think sets Regina apart. Regina, we kind of consider ourselves one-stop shopping <laughs> and that you can have it all at Regina and quite often we might have a family who has a preschooler and an elementary and a junior senior high student and so you can have a family uh, that has somebody at every level and so you can feel like you belong the whole time and then you you grow as you go through each different step. We have uh, been number one on the AP index, which basically says that we, for our size of school, we have the highest percentage of our students taking AP courses. So that is, is a really a very big blessing. We've had that for now. We've been in the top three for the last five years, and I think the two of those, we've been number one. Uh, my greatest delight in the institution is the fact that it's K through 12. And I have to admit that uh, before our children started here, that was also my biggest reservation. A lot of parents fear the kinds of role models that high school kids will be for elementary children and younger. And we've been delighted to find out that it actually works out very well. Uh, having the younger children around uh, raises the expectations for the behavior of the high school students, that they understand their role models and that they need to behave appropriately and those high school students also give uh, or, or model the appropriate behavior for the younger children too. As a, an elementary parent, I looked at some of those high school students and I thought, I hope someday my children can behave like that. I hope that they are that caring, that kind, and that mature. Regina students tend to be Renaissance students. They study hard for their classes, but then they also get involved in multiple sports teams. They get involved in uh, drama performances and service activities and retreats and so forth. And um, at times it's kind of difficult to juggle all of these different things, but I think it really prepares someone for the college life. Um, I think time management is one of the most, if not the most important aspect of, of success in college. And I think one's experience at Regina doing all these different things really prepares him or her very well. Um, I'm only, I'm the first generation with my kids being second, but there are a third generation out here already. And I think that's a neat, a neat testimony to what happens on these grounds that people started here in the 50s, they sent their kids here, and now the grandkids are here. Um, in this town where things are so mobile and people come and go and have no roots, this place has roots. And I think the, the kinship and the, the Catholicism, and the Christianity that is uh, taught out here on a daily basis is real important uh, so that those young people can grow spiritually as well as educationally. Uh, I've been very much impressed with the fact that there is prayer here at Regina before each class and the kids are actively involved in their, their growth as Christians. And, and, uh, and I think there's a real appreciation for people of other faiths as well, as well as Catholics. So. And it's an atmosphere of faith, which I think is really important today. We knew that we wanted to send our children to a Christian school, and um, we decided Regina was the one, and we've been very happy there. Um, we, um, we're happy that they complement what we try to do at home, and sometimes they even teach the children better than we do at home. Um, we like that it's a pre-K through 12th grade, so our children don't have to ever leave their familiar surroundings. We like the, the older kids being there too. They're wonderful role models for our children, and um, we really appreciate that about Regina. I like Regina because we can talk about God. Funding is there for the family that wants to send their children to Regina. And it, it's just a matter of filling out the paperwork. It's, it's all private. It's all confidential. Nobody knows who's getting tuition assistance. And quite frankly, it's nobody's business. But 
Catholic education is affordable to the family who wants their children to have a Catholic education. Well, I just think it's unique, you know, family-oriented um, atmosphere, you know, teaches the academic side, the service side, the spiritual side, which uh, obviously you can only get in a Catholic setting. And uh, my parents sacrificed a lot to send all ten of us through Catholic education. Regina taught me the value of hard work. I worked in the kitchen uh, doing dishes when I was in high school there to do, to supplement my tuition. I think Regina prepares kids very well for college. I know it's a small atmosphere, but I have three children and I sent my own kids here and I think that speaks to, I wouldn't send them somewhere that I didn't think they were going to get a good education. And uh, Mr. Wright was second, uh, Smith, of course, uh, there's your battle right there. I think they have the, with the smaller classes, we have the ability for kids to be more involved in their education. Uh, discipline is usually not much of an issue, nor is our absences and tardies. The kids are here, they want to be here. Uh, their parents want them to be here. We we have kids that go all over the country to school, and, and recently, even kind of further, we've got kids at Stanford. We've always had someone at Notre Dame, and those aren't easy schools to get into. Instead of drawing, trying to fuss with all the fingers at first, I draw like a mitten, right, with no fingers. Good friends. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's good friends. Well, when I came here in third grade, we moved from Baltimore, Maryland, and so it was like big East Coast city to little Iowa city, and being at Regina really helped with the transition. Like, you know, you always hear the word community, and it really did help with all the new families, and they all gave us baked goods, and it was really good. <laughs> As a parent, uh, I've seen firsthand, because I've had three kids graduate from Regina, some of the benefits the, the community uh, receives. And probably what, what really, obviously the obvious is the, is the quality academic experience that kids see. But uh, to me, maybe the less obvious is the, the community service that um, Regina strives to uh, involve the kids in, 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 in giving service back to the community. Uh, and so this is one of the great things of Regina that I see is, uh, is that the, it is a welcoming community, a welcoming school, an opportunity to grow and learn about not only about the faith but to grow academically and to, to grow in, in sports and all the different things, uh, social activities that surround a community of education. Um, having said that, I also just wanted to say something to the Spanish speaking. Me agradezco mucho que hayan tomado la solicitud de integrar un poco de de hispanidad de del del idioma para dar la bienvenida a todos que que hablan español que sean Bienvenidos aquí en esta, esta comunidad que es el Colegio de Regina. To watch these kids grow from infancy, I mean, you know, where everybody's all pretty much equal in, in the whole eyes of everybody, and to watch them develop into their various gifts and as they mature, be it athletics, be it academics, be it service projects, I mean, when you stop and think about them as that three or four year old, you can't ever envision what they're going to be like at 17 or 18. That is fun. That, that is a wonderful, wonderful gift about Regina. And I think the parents too identify with those kids growing up through the ranks and, and how they have matured to be such wonderful young people. <laughs>